In this video, I'm going to show you how to program Mongoose OS in C. I will make this ESP8266 node MCU remotely controllable. In the previous video, I've shown how to do it in JavaScript. And in this video, it's going to be C. So open your terminal and create a new directory. Switch to it and type MOS in it minus minus arch ESP8266. This creates an empty project. Now let's edit src main.c file. So delete everything here, we don't need that. And let's start. The built-in blue LED is attached to pin number two. So int LED equals two. And let's set the GPIO mode to output. MGOS GPIO set mode LED MGOS GPIO mode output. And now we need to set up an RPC handler. Go to Mongoose documentation and click on RPC API. We need RPC add handler function. Copy it and paste here. So first parameter is an RPC descriptor and there is a function to get the global RPC descriptor equals MGOS RPC get global. The second parameter is RPC method name. Let's call it control, exactly like in JavaScript. The third parameter is a format string for the arguments JSON message. In our case, that is state and the integer value. Then the callback, handler callback, and the callback argument. Well, let's set it to null. Okay, and let's write the callback now. Find the signature for it. This is the signature. Copy, paste here. Static void callback. So the argument that we have here is request info, callback argument, frame info, and the args. Args is just a string, a JSON string. So what we're going to do is we will parse JSON string, fetch the value of state parameter, and set the GPIO to that state. So int state. And let's try to parse JSON scanf args pointer args length request info args format into the variable state. And if the function call equals one, that means that we successfully fetched the value state, then MGOS GPIO all right and set the LED to the value of state. Now let's write the response back. Send our PC response. And we let's just return true. And also, let's ignore the rest of unused arguments. CB arg and frame info are unused. And I think we need to include the frozen header for this function for JSON scanf. Frozen. Frozen is a library for scanning and creating JSON strings. Now let's build the firmware. 
MLS build. Oh, failure. What's wrong? So, implicit declaration of RPC ad handler. Okay, so we didn't include the RPC API here. MGOS RPC. And I think we need to do the same for GPIO. Include MGOS GPIO. Okay, let's build again. Success. Type MOS flash to flash that firmware. It is flashed. And now let's test it. MOS call rpc.list and let's see if that function is here. Yes, we can see that the control function is here. Uh, we can do MOS call rpc.describe. Let's pass the arguments name equals control. So you see there is an introspection for the RPC calls. We can see that the function control expects this JSON string. 